Hello, I am Robin Banks, and welcome to a glorious evening in Japan, where we host round four and the penultimate round of the Jenny Tilward Cup at the Tokyo Expressway. This track has a total length of 5.2 miles, with a staggering 17 corners and the longest straight of 900 meters. This week we are racing at night, so the drivers will need all their wits about them to master this incredible high-speed circuit. We are back this time out with group free cars, and this track will really push them to the limit. The championship is truly on fire, with Brian leading on 39 points after Monza, which leaves Rico Mortis a lot of work to do. We have the pleasure in welcoming four wildcard entries this time, but their positions at the finish line will not impact on the championship candidates' results, as this is the positions they have of each other that count towards the points. On the grid, we have Rico Mortis in first place, Brian Messiah in second, Halen Van Eddy in third, Fabio Dutrelli in fourth, and Simon Bouquet rounding out the grid in fifth. And we're off. clean into turn one somebody catching the barrier I think that was Eddie this looks like rush hour a lot of sparks flying around the first few corners those tires are still cold building speed through the Alpha S's down over the crest and down towards the bell end hairpin Rico going defensive already. Eddie's brakes are hot. Frank Hansen goes wide. Looks like Brian Messiah caught the barrier there. Rico side by side with one of the wildcard entries. Down through the Beta S's. Very fast part of the circuit. Some of these corners are totally blind at high speed. Eddie sticking with the first group. Heading down towards the Reaper chicane. Looks like everyone gets through nice and clean. Frank Hansen collided with the barrier. Lots of sparks. Heading down towards the Alpha S's. Down over the crest. Into the Bel Air deer pin. Frank getting a bit out of shape. Brian smacking the barrier again. Rico still side by side with the wild card. Frank pulling a slight gap with the back group. Real tricky corner this one. Frank keeping it nice and tight. Everybody's still going through the Reaper chicane, nice and clean. Group sticking together. Frank hits the barrier again, same place. Shooting down towards the Alpha S's, he's got Scott Milano for company, one of the wild cards. Oh, Frank is really slapping these barriers. Scott Milano's done the overtake, round the outside. Very clean. Looks like Fabio de Trilli is in hot pursuit. Simon Bouquet. Frank tries to go for the defensive line. Disc brakes glowing white hot. Frank loses control. He holds it. Petrelli. The 
Petrelli going up the inside. Bouquet's following him. Bouquet clips Frank, hits the wall, hits Frank again. Nearly knocks Frank off the track. My word, that could have been a real nasty accident. I think Bouquet will have to take a trip down pit lane and say sorry after the race. Left Frank all on his lonesome. Bouquet firing sparks everywhere, hitting the walls. Needs to get that McLaren under control. Went through the Reaper chicane like he had a death wish. Race is calming down a little bit. Old Brian chasing Eddie. Goes for the inside line. Puts him on the outside on the OBS. He's done it. Beautiful clean overtake. Left Eddie wondering what day it is. I don't think Eddie's giving up just yet. like the wild cards went wide. Frank Hansen's back in the mix. Brian desperately trying to stick with Rico. Needs to get past one of the wild cards. Hammering along, using as much slipstream as they could get their hands on. Looks like Brian's got to drive out of the corner. He's trying to go up the inside of one of the wild cards. Oh, well, the wild cards missed his braking zone. Crashed into the barriers. Dear, oh dear. Brian almost on Rico now. Let's do a quick lap with Brian. Over the start line, fifth gear, 150 miles per hour. to the S's, third gear, building speed up to 140 mile per hour, all the way through this widely stretch. Following Rico down over the crest, 140 miles an hour, heading down to the Bel Air Deer Pit, first gear, 40 mile per hour. Now building speed through the Beta S's up to a staggering six gear, 160 mile per hour. Trying to capitalize on any slipstream. Keeping it nice and tight through the corners. Hugging the walls like a koala. Coming out of the tunnel. Rico's really pulled a gap. Down to fourth gear, 100 mile per hour into the turn. Then accelerate again down towards the Reaper chicane. Bagging down to second gear, 65 mile per hour, hitting curb one, curb two. Getting control is paramount here as racers are one and lost. Around the final corner, and back up towards the start straight. Building speed up to 150 mile per hour again, fifth gear. Looks like Eddie's got one of the wild cards for company. Trying to keep it smooth for the Alpha S's. One of the wild cards crashed on the Reaper chicane. Very easy, Dad. Bouquet's capitalizing on that. Go, go, Bouquet. He's obviously stopped somewhere and changed his underpants after that skirmish with Frank Handsome. Nothing like a clean pair of y fronts. Bouquet could try to control a massive amount of understeer. 
over the crest, down towards the Bel Air deer pit. Hopefully he won't touch the tip. Nice and clean around the tip of the Bel Air deer pit. Scott Milano using the slipstream to stay with him. He could well have the drive down this long straight. Try to look for a way past. Will he go on the inside? No, he's going on the outside. Back on the inside. Bouquet loses control. Regains. Into the Reaper chicane. Everybody got through clean. Looks like Fabio's going to join this party. Bouquet facing some serious pressure for one of the wild cards. He hits the barrier. Wild card goes on the inside. Hits the barrier again. He must be pissed. I think he was in the pub next door downing a few pints before the race. When he gets out of that car, I'm going to see if he's still staggering. <laughs> Detrelli looks like he was joining him in the pub too. Wildcard taking the defensive line. Bouquet turning in late. Fabio Detrelli chasing Bouquet. That's such a lovely, lovely livery. The trailer trying to keep it smooth, doing all he can to catch, catch Bouquet. Down towards the Reaper chicane. Fabio's all out of shape. Made it through. He's really pushing. On board with Fabio. Looks like he's run out of toilet roll. I can see the empty roll on the dashboard. Everyone's all okay now. The tear-off underpants have been designed and tested. May have to dodge suddenly left or right if a pair gets ejected out of the window. Around the Bel Air pad, careful not to touch the tip. Chasing Bouquet. Bouquet picked the McLaren, which has got really good top speed, an extra five mile per hour does come in handy on these fast sections, although the McLaren isn't so good on tyres. Chasing down Bouquet. He's certainly not giving up on this, he's right on it, Bouquet must have braked early. Can the Trilly do it? Into the Reaper chicane. He's gone wide, clipped the curb. The Trilly has spat out. Detrelli is out. What a shame. Back with Bryant, still chasing Rico. Rico trying to hold him off. I asked Rico about why the number 58. He said it was in memory of the late great Marco Simicelli who died in MotoGP. He was a big fan. He wears the number 58 with pride. Looks like he's pulled a gap on Brian. Down through the tunnel. Out onto the straight. Really, really fast corner this one. 
very easy to clip the barrier on exit. Down towards the 50 metre board, hitting the brakes as hard as you can, hitting curb one, curb two. Watch out for that barrier. Brian hits the wall, sparks are a flying. Rico, lovely exit out of there. Whilst the race has calmed down a little bit, let's go down to pit lane and have a quick word with our ex-race driver and technical guru, Dave Unshaw. How's it going, Dave? Thank you, Robin. I'm down here in pit lane with Emma Royd, Halen Van Eddy's crew chief. Good evening, Emma, and I must say you are looking very lovely as usual. Oh, I hear you. Halen has been under a lot of stress with how his championship is going. Mm -hmm. What do you do as a team to help him retain focus on the challenges ahead? Well, Dave. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh, thank you, Dave, for your kind words. Uh, you're looking very handsome, too, in your half-mast trousers and polo shirt. <laughs> well, re regarding Halen, if he does well or not, he gets a gold star oh. to pin on his shirt for the day. That really makes him feel proud. Mm. And if he's not doing well, we use the vocal scalp technique. What does that consist of, Emma? That's when we stroke his head gently and tell him everything's going to be all right. That's what we need, the vocal scalp technique. Back to you, Robin. What room are you in? Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. Uh, Many thanks, Dave. And I, uh, I think you left your microphones on. <laughs> There's something not quite right about that woman. So, back to the race. Brian is still chasing Rico. Rico could really gain some valuable points here, putting him in a much better position for the final round. Those tyres are starting to go off slightly. Too many mistakes like that will give Brian the edge to catch up, although he's probably suffering the same. As they come around the fast left hand, uh, down over the crest, down towards the bell end hairpin. On the brakes at the 100 meter board, Rico takes a defensive line, goes slightly wide. Gets the drive. Long way down this set of beds. Back with Eddie and the wild card, Scott Milano. What's Bouquet up to? Still swerving round the track. Yep. <laughs> Definitely had a few. <laughs> Race direction will have something to say about that, I can tell you. 99 bottles of beer on the wall, by the look of it. <laughs> Empty bottles, I should think. This is the wild card at the very front of the pack. Never saw him the whole race, he just cleared off into the distance. I think he's got the space shuttle engine on that car. Rico sideways around into the S's. Really starting to struggle now. Brian hot on his heels. Those tyres screaming for mercy. I think Rico's on softs. Hell of a gamble on such a long race. Into the bell end here, Pid. Loses the back end. Rico, oh my word, he's crashed. That's not good for his championship. Eddie's almost on him. Better get going quickly. That's enabled Eddie to catch up. I can see a bit behind. Eddie's looks like he's fended off Scott Milano, the wild card. Brian knows what he's got to do now. He's got to keep his composure. Go easy on those tyres and just bring it home. Down towards the Reaper's chicane. Curb one. Curb two, miss the wall. Very tricky exit. Mm. 
Rico giving everything he can to catch him. Scott Milano trying to catch back up with Eddie. It's all happening in these last few laps. Eddie keeping it smooth. Driving very well. Obviously wants his girl star. Oh, clipping the barrier, that would have cost him. He loses a bit of time. Yes, Milano's almost on him. If he could just get out, break him into the turn. Very nice tight line. Back with Rico. Looks like he's catching Brian. Oh, Rico literally took off there. He's like the Dukes of Hazard. Launching himself into the stratosphere by the look of it. On board with Rico. Chasing down that target, Brian Messiah. He's going into the start of the S's. Catches the barrier. That'll slow him down. Try to keep it tight. I think those tires have gone. Brian definitely pulled away just then. Come on, Rico. Can you do it? He tells me when you go over the crest, you feel the lightness of the steering. Brian's gone wide. That's a label Rico to catch up on him. Brian's not giving up. Not sure why Rico's carrying the number 99. He must have got in Bouquet's car. He's almost on Brian. Round the fast right-hander. And down the hill towards the Reaper chicane for the final time. Can he do it? He's too far away for an assault. He's going to try and outbreak him. My word, Rico's launched again. Oh no, he spun out for the second time. That's it for Rico. Oh, Halen Van Eddy claiming second. Bad luck, Rico. Congratulations to Brian Messiah for a very well-deserved first place. Halen Van Eddy. A fantastic second place, and Rico crosses the line in third. Bouquet retired early, obviously gone to sleep it off, and Petrelli retired due to technical difficulties. Congratulations are once again in order for an outstanding race put together by Brian Messiah. Have we found our champion already? Results after race two where Rico claimed first place, putting him still 39 points behind Brian. Leaving this round, Halen Van Eddy claimed a fantastic second place once again, and Brian Messiah had a problem off the grid, but managed to finish in third. That leaves Rico still behind Brian, but Eddy is now third in the championship, with Bouquet just two points off him. Next time out, we enter the final round of our championship, with Rico just behind Brian. With 70 points still up for grabs, anything could happen. But for now, many thanks for watching. From Japan, from me and Dave, Thank you and goodbye.